Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Norman Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do a picture in picture, and we're gonna, in this, for this example we're going to use an arrow and show you guys the full process of how you may do this. First let's go ahead and Google search for an arrow, and I'm going to find an arrow here that has these check marks in the background, meaning there's not like a white background so I don't have to remove something, it's just the arrow itself. Now you can you can remove the actual background by cropping it, but uh, just for this video's sake, I'm just grabbing the image. So I went to view image, and I'm going to do save image as. I basically right clicked on the image and did save image as desktop, and we're going to name it one arrow PNG and save. Now I'll go download it. Now it'll show up here on our desktop just like this. Let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro, go into your project and the project you desire to draw the picture picture in. And uh, for example, mine's just a tutorial project, and I'm gonna drag and drop it straight in here. Now I'm gonna grab that image from my desktop and put it straight into my project here. Now we'll notice that we have the image here, and it's right on top of our, it just defaults it to the actual size on the actual video. I already have a picture in picture of the flower here located in the center, so what we're gonna do is gonna make this arrow point at that flower. So let's go ahead and select the arrow, and we're gonna actually expand it the length of the actual flower that it is here. Move the playhead right over the actual arrow, select the arrow, and uh, you're gonna to wanna to open up the inspector pane to the right hand side here, just this little tool looking icon. Now from here we can adjust this. Uh, first what we're gonna do is transform this image and make it the size desired to fit in the actual video because we don't want it taking up the entire video like this. So go ahead and make sure transform is selected here and go to the right hand side here where you see this little box here with dots. Click on that box and you'll see this um, actual outline of the actual image. Go ahead and grab an, the corner and change it to the desired size you prefer. Now you may also use uh, the transform tool and adjust these as you like by freely adjusting them. If you hold the shift button and then click now you can adjust this arrow as you please, just like this, uh, while holding the shift button. Now if you make a change you didn't like, go ahead and hit command Z, and it will revert it back to your previous uh, state. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this image. We can also go to the center area and then simply change its location the way it aims. We're actually going to make it a little bit smaller. And now we have an arrow here, it's angled, and we can go ahead and just move it and we want to angle it just like this. Now we have an image, a picture in picture of an arrow pointing at the flower just like this for the entire duration of this actual uh, clip here. As you can see, they appear and disappear just like that. And that's the basics of picture in picture. Be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and later. So let my life be the proof.